Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. Today I will discuss about HTML table, table attribute, row and column. I am Dr. Ashutosh Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand, Open University, Haldwani. First of all, before starting the lecture, the learning objective of this lecture is to enable learners how to insert data into table, how to divide row and column using row span and column span tag. In previous lecture, we have discussed about some basics of HTML table, how to create a table, and then frames, frame set, frame attribute, nested frame set. So you can see now this slide where we have given one program. You can see left side we have the HTML code of the program and the right side the output of the program. So it is under W3 school and directly you if you can if you have to practice of this table then you can also open W3 school and there you will find number of programs and directly you can run on uh, W3 school and these program will give give output accordingly. So here the program is, is started by the HTML then HTML heading style and inside this style we have table table style we have mentioned here table border uh, and it is solid block 1 pm solid block is the table border. So accordingly we can mention the different properties of the table. So we have mentioned here the property and then style is closed and head portion is closed and then body portion is started here and then you can see one heading the table element will be displayed as the heading of the page. Then you will see the table and first row is the row of heading. So you can see inside the tr and slash tr it is encapsulated and here two headings are there and uh, two headings will be displayed number one month and another value so uh, these two value month and so these two value two headings will be displayed in row one and in row two you can see the value the data that is inside td tag td slash td td slash td so two values first value is january and the second value accordingly it will display two value in first row and then the third row tr it is again encapsulated inside the tr and slash tr so you can see here td inside the td we have the month february and accordingly its value in dollar will be displayed on the second column so in third row also so this way we can write the program and tr will be closed table will be closed and body will be closed and then an html code will be closed by slash so this is the program of html now you can see row span or call span i am talking about the row span dividing row into two different part and column into two different part also so here this uh, example also given here so according this example uh, see the room tariff so room tariff uh, in the first first row you can see room tariff so this this is its span is complete complete row but this room tariff is divided into three different row first column into three different column this room tariff is divided into three different column first column is room type second column is deluxe and third column is executive again further the deluxe the deluxe column will further dividing into ac and non ac divided into ac and non ac as well as executive column is also divided into further divided into ac and non ac so this is the uh, this is called call span this is called call span means column is divided in initially in row 1 we have only single column but in row 2 we have three column three different column and in row 4 we have we have five different columns so uh, we are further we are dividing the columns into different different sub columns so so this is 
this is this is called call span now row span when we are dividing the row into different 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 row then it is called row span so room type is a room type is divided into three row means room type the span of room type is in three row for in first row we have the first value deluxe and executive and in second row we have value ac non ac ac non ac and in third row we have the value 1500 1000 2500 and 1500 so this room type is divided into into three three different rows and room tariff so this is called row span and room tariff is divided into three different columns so this is called call span so these are two things row span and call span so uh, but in this example we have we have two two column and three row so we can we can also have this type of uh, values we have to store this type of value then we require row span as well as call span now see this this one so here again given one example also so in this example we have started by html then body background cloud dot gif when the output will be displayed its background will be cloud uh, dot gif image will be in the background of this uh, file then we are starting table and table border equals to 1 it may be 2 it may be 3 it may be 4 so here we are writing here table border 1 tr align now the first row tr inside tr and slash tr we have align center name and marks are in center so uh, the align of written text written inside the cell is in is uh, is a center align now ts row span equals to 2 means name name is the first 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 value of cell first cell so name row span of name is 2 means it is covering covering two rows so it is further divided into two rows and the second one marks its call span equals to 2 means it is spanned in two rows in sorry two columns so these two columns are c language and english so this is this is called this is called call span so second one is call span 2 suppose call span is 3 then it will it will uh, cover three row but here call span equals to 2 it means uh, it is sub divided into two two different columns and row span 2 means the name name cell is divided into two two rows two sub rows so these rows are uh, accordingly marks and c language and english in second row so this is called call span first one is the row span now in second row we are in second row second row we have again we have align center and we will have two values here c language and english because because the first cell already covered by the name so its span is 2 this row span is 2 so that's why we cannot store in in this first cell so we can store only two values however we have three different column but in second row we can store only two values that is c language and english now we are coming on third row row align center so we have three value amit 90 and 95 so amit is will be stored as first cell 90 will be stored in second cell and 95 will be stored in third cell so its align is center and same way in the fourth row we have we have three values its align again center suppose we have mentioned here suppose we we, we will mention here uh, align equals to left then it will show the left align values but we are writing here align center so it uh, in the center we can find the values sumit and uh, 95 and 96 so these three values are displaying by this tr block and then we will uh, be closing here slash table slash body and slash html so this is very important program and very uh, easy program to explain you this uh, row span and call span
so we can we will have this type of structure also uh, we can write different table inside one table so table one table two is here so uh, we can mention different different tables uh, inside one table so this is some somehow this is called nested tables also so this is one example of table also so in first first column we have tax values and in second column we have tax values and in third column we have different buttons so we can mix tax with the button we can mix tax with the images audio video everything we can we can mention in a table so this is the benefit of table so to arrange arrange the different different uh, tools in a window we require this uh, table uh, feature of html this is one more example so this is the simple calculator in this simple calculator you can see different buttons are there 0 to 9 are different buttons so we can arrange these buttons in different cells of a table and uh, accordingly buttons all, all also uh, placed in this table and we can display the shape of this table and uh, we will see this this table will be displaying just like a calculator so this is happened due to this html uh, table program so this is the benefit of table uh, so uh, learner after listening this lecture uh, the learner will be practically able to prepare html table table rows table headers also and in next lecture we will discuss about introduction to forms form and input tag and text input also we will discuss in next lecture so thank you learner thank you very much